Neighbors in a local community say a man crossed the line when he decided to do something about a troublesome deer that had been eating his garden. Police say he put neighbors at risk and his shocking actions were actually caught on camera. Local 12's Rich Jaffe joins us now from Madeira with a story you'll see only on Local 12 News. Rich? Cammy, people who really love their gardens will go to extraordinary lengths to protect them. As an example, this very productive garden is actually surrounded by an electronic cattle fence. The wires you're looking at there, those are electrified to keep the deer out. And this is the middle of suburbia. Now, we have to warn you, some of the video in this story is very disturbing because Don McVeigh of Springfield Township went to the other extreme to protect his garden and did everything wrong. 6.30 in the morning on August 5th, Don McVeigh picked up a 22 caliber rifle, walked out in his Springfield Township backyard and shot a deer feeding behind a neighbor's home, two houses away. Paralyzed but still alive, the deer dropped shortly. And on this home video, you can see McVeigh casually walk up and start viciously kicking the injured animal. Moments later, he dragged the deer towards the woods. When Don McVeigh spotted a neighbor shooting video, he asked him if he wanted to give him a hand. Saying no, the neighbor called police. The desperate animal tried to get away, and we won't show you that part of the video because it's too disturbing. Short time later, police showed up and put the animal down. McVeigh explained to officers that he was tired of the deer damaging his garden and admitted shooting it. Charged with illegal discharge of a firearm, Today, Don McVeigh pled no contest and was found guilty. Police say he fired across inhabited dwellings. He was also shooting near a main street through a neighborhood, according to the police affidavit. And while he talked with police, McVeigh didn't want to talk with me. Are you at all concerned about the people around there that could have been hit when you took that shot? There was no one around or the deer would not have been there. There were two people watching, as a matter of fact. One of them shot it on video. How can you say there wasn't anybody around? One of your neighbors was standing on her porch and saw it. A top-level misdemeanor, McVeigh is facing as much as six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. The magistrate on the case put off sentencing for five weeks because she wants to hear from the investigating officer. She may also be hearing from some state officials. And that's because I contacted an official with the Division of Wildlife, and the game wardens have their own set of charges that they could possibly file against McVeigh, McVeigh dealing with things like poaching and taking an animal out of season, that sort of thing. And we will let you know what they do about this case as well. In Madeira, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Cammy. Hey, Rich, you mentioned the deer was with a couple of fawns when she was shot. Were they injured during this? Actually, that's the good news out of this story. At this stage of the year, those fawns were in an, enough of an advanced stage that they can take care of themselves. In fact, some of the neighbors tell me that they saw them again just this morning. But then McVeigh was in court, so I guess the fawns at least are safe. All right, Rich Jaffe reporting for us. Thanks. McVeigh is due back in court for sentencing on September 23rd, and of course, we'll let you know what happens.